Hi, everybody. My name is Maria, and for the final project, I built a mobile app, which is called Save It. So this app, basically, um, is a solution for me. I get home every day. I don't have time for anything else. I have to feed these hungry people right here, which are always hungry, and I love cooking. So the problem is I usually have a lot of stuff, and I don't know what to do. What this app does is it lets you uh, search for ingredients. You can add what you have in your fridge, and it will search for recipes in based on what you have. So, oh. the technologies I used were the Meme Stack and Ionic 2. It's a framework for building apps um, with the SDK of Ionic, and you can build them native with the Meme Stack. So, that's really cool. Also, I use a couple of external APIs like Nutrionics to get uh, nutritional facts for recipes. Um, Spoonacular to get a list of ingredients, Google Maps and Foursquare to show a map with places you can go and buy stuff, mostly ingredients and food. And then I developed APIs myself for user authentication, uh, logging in, signing in, uh, recipes, which I think I should upload myself, because the whole idea is that you have uh, very cool, um, easy to make recipes with what you have at your house. So I did them myself. And then reviews. Okay, so it's demo time. This is my app right here. Uh, I'm emulating an iOS device because uh, Ionic does that. Um, it gives you this interface where you can see the app, but actually I have it on my phone and I can upload it if I want it right now. So right here, I'm going to type, if it's, I don't know if it's working, though. OK. Oh, it is. Wait, I'm, that's it. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to reload. OK, so. Should be, okay. I have onions all the time. Uh, let's say I have spinach and oil. I don't know. Okay, so I, I'm going to search. And it will give me recipes ordered by the ingredients that have more matches first and, well, decreasing. Right now, I have only a couple. Uh, the user can upload more recipes, so it will have more in the future. I can view the recipe, um, see if it has any dieting type or, or cuisine type. I can view the nutrition facts with this API I use of Nutrinix. I can leave a review if I am logged in. And what I can do here is add things that I don't have in my house to a shopping list. So I have to log in. I have to be logged in for that. I'm going to log in with my user and then add things to my list. Oh, it's not being right. Wait. OK, technical issues. I have a toast. Back here, it's a native component of the phone that it says, well, this recipient, this uh, ingredient has been added to your list. So I can show you after. <laughs> Miguel says it. I don't know how to. Full screen, how? Ah. Do I have a zoom? No, I don't. <laughs> you rock. OK, so now you can view there's a navigation, a tab navigation down here, which wasn't visible. 
So what I was talking about is this. That's a toast right there. Those are cool things that Ionic gives you, which is native. It is from the phone. So you can view it in Android and the Android way or in iOS, the iOS way. So I added things to my list. Right now I'm going to go to the profile setting, which is uh, where, where you can add a new recipe. And this works on a device because I can't use a, a camera right here. So I can show you that later as well. And these are my saved recipes. The ones that I added items to the shopping list will view here. I can also view if I uploaded some recipes. And then finally, the shopping list is here. Cool thing about the shopping list is that when I cook and I see a recipe, I don't write things down. I have to go to a supermarket. I always forget what I had to buy. So this is added in a local storage. And you can go out. It doesn't matter if you have internet. It will load. You can view everything there. And if you go shopping, you'll see Google Maps where to go and buy stuff you don't have. That's pretty much it. <laughs>